we believe these lies, we wander from the truth. We've got to bring each other back. I can't stand Christianity that isolates itself. I'm good as long as I read my Bible and I pray and I go to church, I'm good. And James says, you can save the life of a Christian if you go and what? Be patient, gentle, and kind, and loving. Don't isolate ourselves. He says you gather and you confess just how messed up you are so that you can be healed into one. I mean, Paul describes the supernatural thing that happens. He says the spirit, when you are brought, you get you, so God gives you this gift, mercy and grace, and the spirit comes and lives in you, and all of a sudden you have this ability to do something that you didn't have before. And he says when you take your ability and you connect it to the rest of the body, the spirit comes and he says the whole thing grows, grows into what? I love this. Love. The point of your obedience is to help your brother and sister grow in the love of Christ. That's the point. The whole entire point. This is why he says, consider how to build one another up daily. So James writes a letter to scared, fighting, sin-sick, wandering Christians. And you know how he, always, you know, you know how he brings them back? He grounds them in their faith. And he reminds them of the grace of God. That's how he does it. So I think the conclusion can be, there is no hope for us in this world. None. Whatever you think, money, political party, time, will fix, hasn't worked in 6,000 years. You know why humans are so stupid? Because we keep throwing a brick up in the air thinking it's eventually going to fly. And it keeps killing us. We're dumb. And you know what opens blind eyes to be able to see the darkness of this world? When Val Jean Valjean dies, back behind him on the mantle, two candles lit. And the picture was he died in the light of his mercy. He took them with him the rest of his life. It was a reminder of what he received. What is it that the Father <clears throat> gives us as a symbol of his mercy till we die? The blood in his body. Thank you for listening. Today's reminder is from John Moffat, pastor of Grace Reformed Church in Spring Hill, Tennessee. If you would like to help support our ministry, please visit theocast.org give.